A world like a quiet place will be perfect for people who love to honk their horns for no reason. I mean, having dangerous aliens around will surely teach them how to shush themselves. For those who haven't seen the previous two films, John Krasinski's A Quiet Place franchise reimagines a world invaded by extraterrestrial beings called Death Angels, who track living beings with the help of sound and butcher them in the most brutal way possible. And yes, humans are necessarily prey to these aliens. The films don't reveal much about these aliens except for the fact that they arrived on Earth on meteorites. I guess they come from a dark planet devoid of any sunlight, or maybe they are light sensitive or blind. Their biological structure might be suitable for the planet they came from, but on Earth, they might be having a hard time settling in. That might be the reason why they panic whenever someone makes a sound in the vicinity, and therefore, in order to protect themselves, they kill the source of the sound as quickly as possible. In simple words, you just have to remember to keep those volume levels low and eat your popcorn without making any noise when you watch the third film. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the films. But if you're done watching them already, let's dive straight into the video. And while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel as it helps us a lot. The first film in the franchise was about survival. We came across the Abbots, a family of four trying to survive in a new reality where the aliens had killed off much of the human population. The second film, on the other hand, centered around the eldest daughter of the Abbott family, Regan, who accidentally came across a mysterious frequency that could force these alien creatures to lower their guard, therefore making them vulnerable to physical attacks. They have a hard shell on their faces that is not even penetrable by the deadliest weapon known to mankind. But once they open their protective cover, even a sharp knife could get the job done. Here's a bizarre theory, which could be wrong, but I believe these creatures open their so-called fangs to emit sound waves through which they detect people or things around them, much like how sonar works. That might be the reason why people hide themselves behind certain objects when these aliens have suspected their presence. Speaking of the upcoming third film in the franchise, it isn't going to move forward with Regan's story. I mean, we really wanted to see that, right? how she would use this mysterious frequency discovered by her dad to kill all the extraterrestrial monsters in the world. Unfortunately, the third film will revolve around the events of day one, that is, the fateful day on which the aliens arrived on Earth and wreaked havoc upon entire humanity. In short, the prequel is going to be a completely different film with some connections to the earlier films. Also, the previous two films took place somewhere in upstate New York, while the third one, titled Day One, is set in central New York, at the heart of a very loud and busy city. So you can already imagine the death and bloodshed we'll be witnessing in the upcoming installment. But before moving forward, I think I should address the elephant in the room. Do you really need to watch the previous two films before getting seated for day one? I guess the answer is no, but if you know a bit about A Quiet Place's world and the danger looming over it, then it might help you enjoy the film better. In day one's trailer, we saw a meteor shower in the sky thereby suggesting the arrival of these aliens in huge numbers. And as soon as they hit New York City, they start butchering people using their sharp claws, which can even pierce through the hardest metal on Earth. In the trailer, we also see a familiar face who was introduced as the man from the island, Henry, in the second film. In A Quiet Place 2, Regan and her family ended up in an abandoned rail yard as their ranch was compromised after the death of John Krasinski's character. Here, they met another friend from the past, Emmett, who let them stay for a night. While hiding inside the secret dungeon, the family heard a song on the radio, Beyond the Sea, which they believed was coming from a nearby island. Regan thought she could use their radio center to broadcast her hearing aids frequency, which makes these aliens vulnerable and in a way helps the surviving humans protect themselves against the foreign threat. After a bit of a struggle, Emmett and Regan finally arrived on the island, where they met our man Henry, who was in charge of the local community flourishing on the isolated islands. The second film suggested that death angels couldn't swim in the water because of their dense bodies, which was why they failed to reach Henry's island. Obviously, these monsters didn't know how to steer a boat, not until they had passed their cruising test. So judging by what we know about Henry from the second film, it could be speculated that he was stuck in New York City when the meteors hit the Earth. And after the National Guard made an announcement about the 12 ships anchored in the harbor, he decided to make his way to the docks so that he could live another day. And so if you see Henry in the third film, please hoot for him as he is the man who survives. Though not for long. The second film is as far as he goes. I'm really sorry for the spoiler. The third film is mostly going to follow the struggle of two major characters. 
Joseph Quinn's Eric and Lupita Nyong'o's Samira, who against all odds have to find a safe haven for themselves just like Henry did in the second film. And if not, they will have to live the rest of their lives looking over their shoulders without making any loud noises. Otherwise, you know what would be coming for them. And this I'm not sure of, but the third film can also further explore the origins of these alien creatures and where they come from. Or maybe we'll find some new weaknesses about them that will help the heroes of the franchise put up a strong fight against them and eliminate them one by one. Thank you for watching this video and do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding A Quiet Place Day 1. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the time being we're signing off. Bye.